Hello, Terry. It's Friday, February 28th. I'm Coach Noble. And I'm Abby. And, and you're, you're watching THS TV. One more week until spring break. I can't wait. What are you going to do? Relax, sleep late, and get outside. Here's a sports recap from the past week and a look at some upcoming games for the next week. <laughs> Our junior varsity and freshman tennis team showed up and showed out. 11 of the 15 that played made it to the semifinals or further in the main draw. Take a look at the screen for the results. They'll finish up their season with Varsity District on April 4th and the JV Tournament on April 10th. They're working to advance to regionals. If you see a tennis player in the hallways, wish them good luck. Swimmer Derek Montgomery gave an outstanding performance at the state preliminaries in Austin last weekend. He returned for the championship finals on Saturday. He placed 8th in the state of Texas in the 50 free and 13th in the state in the 100 free. That's the whole state? The whole state in his class. Congratulations, Derek. Our soccer team is on fire. They are putting points on the scoreboard of every game. Christian was there. Start the second half just like y'all just came off the field. Just like that. February is Black History Month. We have pictures on the TVs around school about influential African Americans. The Black Student Union also had a special program for us at lunch. Can you ask a few rangers to describe what Black History means to them? Um, Black History Month means to me uh, freedom, basically. Um, I think that it's like everybody comes and they don't understand the rights or the things that people have done for them to be in this situation, especially minorities and just everybody along that. So, freedom. Ready? Black History Month means that African Americans aren't less than other races that Black History Month means to me the celebration of African Americans throughout the history 
of the United States of America. Black History Month to me means showing off black magic. Black History Month means to me to represent black excellence. Black History Month is a month for us to strive and celebrate our accomplishments. Although we celebrate Black History Month in February, Black History is not only just one month a year, it's all 12 months a year. And Black History means so much for, for me, to me because so many of our forefathers have fought for us to be a part of history and to be a part of positive history. So what Black History means to me is to celebrate my ancestors and the trials and tribulations that which we've come from. February is CTE month. We have profiled Ms. Gallia and Ms. Spears and now we want to showcase the whole CE depart CTE department because February is CTE month. Hi, my name is John Troutman and I teach Project Lead the Way here at Terry High School. Project Lead the Way is a series of courses that introduces uh, the student to engineering disciplines. We teach uh, Introduction to Engineering Design, we teach Civil Engineering and Architecture, we teach uh, Engineering Science, and we teach uh, Engineering Design and Development. Uh, courses offered over at Lamar aerospace engineering which also fits into the PLTW curriculum. Folks, if you've ever thought about being an engineer, you ever thought you might want to be an engineer, uh, you ever thought you might want to learn a little bit something more about how things in the world are put together, these courses are perfect for you. Yeah, the math is a little tough at times, but if you don't stress yourself, how are you going to know if you can do something? Besides, you've always got me to help you with the math. Think about Project Lead the Way. Come by and see us. We'll show you what we're doing. Hi, my name's Miss King. I teach the animal classes here at Terry High School. There are a variety of classes. Um, they move in a sequence. The first one is Principles of Ag, which I actually don't teach, but that's the first one you have to take. And then you take Equine Science, which is all about horses. Small Animal Management, where you learn about all the different small animals that we have as pets, snakes, cats, dogs, birds, fish. That moves you into veterinary medical applications where we really have a lot of fun and we learn all about the different animals um, and the veterinary care of them. Uh, you get to interact with my dogs and learning how to um, restrain them for certain procedures as well as we host faculty clinics where their dogs come in and we do grooming on them, nail trims, and bathe them. Then we go into advanced animal science class and that's just even more learning about all different types of animals and genetics of them, super fun. And there's also a class called practicum in veterinary medical and that's where you have a position at a vet clinic where you're a volunteer and you get a ton of volunteer hours and then you're able to earn your certified veterinary assistant certification from the Texas Veterinary Medical Association. So it's a lot of different classes but they're all a ton of fun. They're all about animals and we also have just tons of hands-on. Be sure and take a look at the CTE program when signing up for classes. Another creative pathway for you in high school is art. Take a look at what's on display down the art hallway.
Club is hosting a video game tournament after school. It's free and there's going to be raffles and free prizes. Come see Mr. Beamer or Miss Siebels to sign up, otherwise we'll see you there. The tournament will be in the LGI room. Freshmen, you've almost gotten through your first year. We talked to some administrators, counselors, teachers, and students and got some useful advice for you. If I had to give any advice to the freshman class in regards to fundraising, the strongest bit of advice I could offer is please don't wait till your senior year to start fundraising. Now is a great time to start. That way when you get to your senior year you now have a nice surplus stored up and you can start planning ideas for what you'd like to do as a senior class long before the money, long before the senior year and how much money you have available will not dictate what you get to do. Well definitely how much money you have available will get to dictate it but if you start now it won't be a mad race to raise so much money in a short period of time. In case you didn't know, juniors pay for the junior senior prom. Senior activities like prom, like senior trip are very expensive. So it's important to get started doing your fundraisers as freshmen. The more money you raise, the less money comes out of your pocket your senior year. All right, I'm uh, Staff Sergeant Larice with the U.S. Army. Uh, as far as advice for a freshman, I would say to focus in on your long-term goals uh, because pretty soon you'll be a senior and that time will creep up before you know it. Y'all little kids need to stop being disposed to our teachers because it might be like one of the messages you had. Take care of your business early so you're not at the last minute scrounging and worrying about if you'll graduate or if you have enough hours. Early bird gets the worm. Always. Um, surround yourself or at least try to surround yourself with successful people. Uh, make uh, smart decisions, avoid trouble. Freshmen, come to school every single day because when you get to your senior year, you will have senior writers. We're closing today's show with some empowerment words from Ms. Spears. Sometimes you find yourself in a bad place and everybody has a dark place sometimes. But sometimes those dark places give you experiences that make you stronger. And in the end, when you become stronger, you climb out of those dark places into new heights and be a better person. And with that, we're out of here. Remember, raise, raise your, your pride, pride every, every day, every, every way. way. Oh yeah, semi-automatic.